The fight against the destruction of farmlands by nomadic headsmen continued to hit a snag after more than two decades. In the past 25 years, farmers in Asante Akim North and Setra Afran Plains District of Ashanti region have accused the headsmen for allowing their cattle to graze and destroy farmlands, which serve as their only source of livelihood. The failure to deal with the situation has led to persistent clashes between the crop farmers and the headsmen, resulting in death on both sides. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, in partnership with University for Development Studies, University of Energy and Natural Resources, and the University of Copenhagen, through a Danida-funded project, is conducting a research on how to find a lasting solution to the conflict. Reverend John Menu is the Ashanti Regional Director of Agriculture. It has been a worrying situation and very alarming. At least about 70 lives have been lost, which shouldn't have been the case. And uh, as uh, we have foreseen, we cannot do away with crop production. And also we cannot do away with livestock production, precisely the, the cattle really. There is positive aspect of both. And there's the way to ensure that there's a lasting uh, peace among the farmers and the herders. So that at the end of the day, we cannot lose life and even animals and properties because we are doing our business. Professor Chereb Watin is the project coordinator. Uh, at the beginning, some people felt that there is no way farmers and herders can live together. The two livelihoods uh, are incompatible. But now that is changing. And so those uh, changes that we are observing in the way people are thinking, the way people are talking, gives us confidence that if we continue to work together, we can find solutions. Chairman of Ghana Cattle Ranching Committee is Dr. Kwame Opon Anani. Well, the community cattle ranches alone would not because um, there will still be a lot of cattle around. But we are also uh, creating awareness for cattle to be confined so that they don't destroy crops. In other words, if one is not bringing his animals to the community, then he should ensure that he manages to get adequate feed for the cattle with that moving into destroyed farms. The expectation is that the findings of this research, together with some other interventions, will bring a lasting solution to the farmer-headsman conflict across the country.